Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I miss you. Today we are going to complete our lesson which is, was talking about the electric energy. And we talk about that there is an artificial source that gives us electric energy like the electric lamps. We have two types of electric lamps. Number one, we talk about it in details, the light bulb. And number two, we are gonna to take it today is the fluorescent lamp. Can all of you with me look up at your room? Can you see the lamp in your room? I think it's shaped like that. Yes, it's called fluorescent lamp. Any house contains fluorescent lamp inside it. The first part in our lesson we are going to, to take what is the importance and what is the uses of the fluorescent lamp. Number one, I can use it in lighting houses. Number two, I can use it also in decorating commercial stores like malls and shops. Number three, I can use it in decorating ad advertisement like that. Do you got it? Excellent. The second part in our lesson, we are going, we are going to talk about the structure of the fluorescent lamp from inside. The fluorescent lamp from inside like that. It consists of three main parts. The first part is that, which means the glass tube. The glass tube contains inside it an inert gas called argon gas. Do you remember with me what is the importance of the argon gas? Yes, its importance to protect the filament inside the lamp from burning and increase the lifetime of the lamp. But the difference between the fluorescent lamp and light bulb, the fluorescent lamp has a material or a little amount of mercury vapor inside it. And also the inner surface of the fluorescent lamp covered with a material called phosphoric material. The second part in the fluorescent lamp is it has two filaments of tungsten. Can you remember what is the importance of the tungsten and why we make the lamp from tungsten? Yes, because it has high melting point. The third part in the fluorescent lamp is the two points of connection like that here and here. We can see it from outside, not from inside. Can you make a brainstorming with me and tell me what is the importance of these points of connection? Yes, it's important to connect the lamp with the electricity. Here, if I wanted to turn the lamp, which tools I should have? I should have a battery which should be source of electric energy and also I should have a switch which means the key to open and close the circuit and I should have an electric pole or lamp and I should have also electric wires to connect all these components together. What I make here is called simple electric circuit. So, what is the mean of simple electric circuit? It is a close and continuous path to which the electric current will pass making a complete cycle. What does it mean? It means that the battery, which is the source of electric energy, gets electricity and pass from the positive pole here and the electricity pass here, here, until it reaches the light bulb and the light bulb will light and emit light through the filament, okay, and the electricity will pass in the wire until it reaches the negative pole of the battery. This is the battery, this is the electric light bulb. The second part, can I connect the light bulb with 
In random way? Of course not. There is methods to connect the electric lamps. Number one is called three is connection, like that, that, that. Lamps are connected one after another. And the second part is called parallel connection, which means the electric lamps or light bulb is not connected one after another. But it means that I connect the light bulb in branching roots like that. So, what is the difference between them? Here I will make a compare between series connection and parallel connection. This is a series connection like that, and this is a parallel connection like that. In the series connection, the light bulbs are connected one after another like that. This is means there is only one route or one way for electricity to pass inside it. But in parallel connection, the light bulbs are connected in branching roots. Like that. The electricity has many branching roots to pass inside it. The second part, when one lamp burns in the series connection, all the other lamps will turn off. Why? Because there is only one route or one way for electricity to pass. But here in parallel connection, when one lamp burns, the other bulbs keep lighting and still working. Why? Because there is branching roots. At least, when the number of light bulbs in series connection increase, that means instead of I use two bulbs, I use three or four or five, the lighting will decrease. But on the other side, in parallel connection, when the number of pulpers increase, the lighting will not affect it and remains the same. I wish you understand all the lessons.